This video explains how to sort the columns of a data frame based on the values in another column of this data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set called data is appearing. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that our example data frame contains 12 rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to order our data frame based on the column x1. Then we can apply the order function to this column and we need to use square brackets to reorder the rows of our entire data frame. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling data sort one. So after running this line of code, this new data frame called data sort one is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data object, another window is opened, which is showing our updated data frame. And as you can see, we have sorted our data frame based on the values in the column x1. So in this first example, I have explained how to sort our data frame based on one column. However, it's also possible to sort our data frame based on multiple columns. And this is what I'm demonstrating in line eight of the code. So in this line of code, I'm once again using the order function. However, this time I'm applying this function to two data frame columns, in this case to the two columns x1 and x2. And as in the previous example, I'm storing the output of my code in a new data frame object, and this time I'm calling this data frame object data sort2. So after running line eight of the code, this data frame is appearing at the top right as well. And if you click on it, you can see that we have created another data frame version. Once again, we have sorted our data frame based on the column x1. However, you can also see that within each group of this data frame column, the other rows are sorted based on the column x2. So for instance, in this case, we have four times the value one in the column x1, and then the column x2 has been sorted according to the values in this subgroup. So in the previous examples, I have explained how to use base R for this task. However, it's also possible to use the deep layer package to sort our data. And in order to do that, we first need to install and load the deep layer package. As you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code, I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the arrange function of the deep layer package to sort our data based on the columns x1 and x2. And as in the previous examples, I'm storing the output of my code in a new data frame object that I'm calling data sort three. So after running these lines of code, another data object is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data set, you can see that once again, we have sorted our data frame based on the two columns x1 and x2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.